Welcome. I'm Steve Bell, president of Kiso Global, based in the United States, and I'm a consultant that's focused on the ICT industry. And I've been fascinated by innovation, strategy, and technology around the industry for a number of years. I'm moderator for the panel session, Telecom's Innovation is Going Over the Edge. Is it time to pivot? We have some interesting panelists that can provide some non-traditional perspectives. From the IT world, we have Mr. Jeffrey Hanin Jalil, VP and Global Head of Telecom Equipment Vendor Verticals for Wipro Technologies from India. From a developing world perspective, we have Mr. Charles Matadon, Head of Internet and Value Added Services for Vodacom Tanzania. And finally, from the innovation area, we have Dr. Ali Jazeri, Head of Innovation and Technology Transfer Section at the World Intellectual Property Organization in Switzerland. And apologies to all of those gentlemen if I mispronounce their names. So what are we going to look at? Primarily, the mobile telecoms industry has been at the epicenter of change for the last 32 years. Exponential growth took the industry from zero to 10% in 19 years, so that by 2000, we were set for a new millennium. And in the next 10 years, in the next seven years, we basically grew the penetration rate to 50%. As we go into 2013, as all of the ITU statistics show, we're approaching a 96% penetration rate. Not only has the industry connected the world, and in many cases it's provided access to the internet for the first time via mobile. The mobile phone has become an indispensable aspect of daily lives to billions. As Francis Cairncross in her famous book, The Death of Distance, forecast, geography, borders and time zones have become irrelevant to the way we conduct our business and our personal lives. And I think she's being proved right. However, with near saturation, growth rates have also fallen and the lowest levels are being achieved in developed and developing countries. So the mobile telecom world is being subject to the same forces of change as the internet business model collides and disrupts the status quo that's been in existence for the last 30 years. All of a sudden, there is an uncertainty about going over the edge of the internet flat world, described by Thomas Friedman, into an unknown world. One thing's clear, though. As Albert Einstein said, the thinking that got the industry to where it is is unlikely to get it out. Equally, as my experience shows, those efforts at change will meet with resistance as internal silos act as an immune system to kill new ideas. So what's to be done? The words we, we use to define something represents the world that we see. And as we share those words, they tend to both unify and defy and divide the ecosystem and participants within that ecosystem. As the ecosystem expands and new members join, this can become an issue. Clearly, those that came from an internet background have a different worldview and a unique perspective on where things will evolve and develop too. I read the phrase, voice calls are no longer the preferred communication mechanism between people. To me, it became clear that the language we use defines the horizons of our imagination. From a telecoms perspective, this can be seen as a negative, but from an internet perspective, it's a golden opportunity. So the challenge is to shift the mindset and to focus less on the delivery of comms and innovatively focus on something else that leverages the assets that have been put in place, the layered technology developments of the last five years, and the new ones that are emerging, and most importantly of all, the changes in global consumer and business usage needs and patterns. What I hope the panel will explore is the colossal change that's happened within this concatenated time frame, where people have less time but more choice. We hopefully will look at cross-pollination, what can be learned from both worlds, borrowed and morphed. How will we create a world 3.0 where the real impact of an interconnected world at a local level and at a context level starts to be explored? Clearly, mindsets, myopia, and perception. For instance, telecoms. Is it tele or comms? Tele literally is at a distance, but it's also a combining form. Telephone, television, telemetry. So is it time to pivot? Given the convergence, it implies a focus on innovation to combine capabilities and services to enable engagement over distance. So what did the tele-consumers and the tele-enterprises really mean? 
Another colleague of mine is running several panels, Martin Geddes, and he talks about the technology of flow. But it's not just about the technology, it's about flows within an interconnected world. New technology flows of info, voice, data, media, between people, devices, things, and the cloud. What's the value and the relationship within the freemium model from the, inter from the internet world? What becomes of the business model in the 3.0 world? What's the essence of a mobile network operator in the future? Capturing customer value as opposed to holding customers captive may be one of the challenges. Boundary blurring. As we look at how the ICT industry has impacted health, banking, education, agriculture, transport, and with the Internet of Things beginning to emerge onto the world stage, the interrelationship of the Internet of Things with people and devices. The interconnection is a new frontier. 99% of the world's things are not connected, uh, whereas 96% of the people are. So there's an abundance of opportunity. Developing versus developed world rates of change. The impact of the existing infrastructure holding back the developed world and the lack of infrastructure being a need-based drive for innovation and acceleration in the developing world. Customer engagement. The utilization of big data and open innovation to create value on both sides of the, uh, the telecom and the internet world. And finally, people and organizations. The telecom industry was full of visionaries in the early 90s. Now you've got a lot of accountants. Where are the mavericks? How do we capture the startup mentality and the understanding of trying to recognize when standards make sense but do it, try it, and fix it makes even more sense. I have little fear about innovation in this converged industry. The only issue is who are the players and where does the innovation come from? There's abundance of opportunities. Success will ultimately come from a focus on the consumer and the business fundamentals and defining value-added capabilities around security, access, simplicity, resilience, unification of options, frictionless interaction, harmonized services, and curated content and media. So in conclusion, the panel is about the need for new mindsets and the re-evaluation of the telecom landscape, chiefly because the current map and strategy don't fit the territory that's been ripped up by powerful convergence forces over the last five years. I think it's going to be a fascinating panel. I think that the discussion that evolves will be very stimulating, and I look forward to the questions that it generates from the floor. And I hope you will join us on Friday, November 22nd at 9 o'clock for the panel. Thank you very much.